Brian Monk here, part four, reading from my book, Hawk. Are you a semi-professional artist, selling the odd painting whilst claiming the dole or living at home, or selling hash on the side to fuel the dream? I am Van Gogh, Van Gogh. I am Rembrandt, you exclaim as you grow the beard and rebel against the shadows and dust until reality claims your true self weighs and measures you then fate is all that's left do you survive or give up and claim the meaninglessness of an ordinary life anyone's guess it's a utopian existence that many of us live for decades before waking up and shaving properly for the first time in many metaphorically rent eons of dreamers dreaming angelic beings come calling once in a while but it's only for the select few that hear the call of spirit that finally give up karma related subjects and decide through thick and through thin to stick to the wall and refuse to give in i will anger some people who worship at their door of moderation with the road of good intentions as their whipping post for all others beliefs it's a great time to give up on the dream of human earthly love millennium if you've had enough i had a caller yesterday a human being choosing to live an alternative sexual lifestyle who as far as i could see was a divine being or angelic being she was she is like all others who choose the greatest love of all bent on unconditional chemical hormonal love low maintenance acceptance freedom but the path of an angelic being is not one of temporary sublimation because of karma if the universe had meant for us to have it easy we would all have been born the same sex hermaphrodites not semi or partly hermaphroditic as we all are so she lost things along the way many things other things happened to her also suffering and relationship failure so as a psychic i told her straight you're an angelic being that believes and studies angels right yes she said karma has visited you because angelic asexual people are not supposed to or able to coexist in two opposing worlds without one cancelling each other out I told her she had two choices be asexual or accept the karma of suffering other people who have same-sex relationships are usually married she didn't want to get married again another cop-out I told her if she got married she would have the support of socially recognized institutions that value spiritual discipline and are completely aware of the effects that sex has on the body and on the spirits of innocent beings in proximity to unhealthy spiritual energy just look at the aura of some people it's not there nothing just black don't react to this statement act google curly and photography i'm not against same-sex relationships or marriage just learn about the truth when you know it it will set you free where moderation isn't practiced perhaps her karma wouldn't have been so smiteful if she were married to her partner the mother of her child no prejudice here thank you